Yo, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to make that will be the show custom cards. Now custom cards can be easy when you actually know how to do it. And today I'll be teaching you how to. Now here's a really good Discord server that I'm in. It basically has all the resources that you need down here. Like if you scroll down here, it has all the series. And then there's like main templates. We already have new ones for the over the show 23. That's how quick like some of the guys can produce like templates. Then of course we have templates for like the actual cards, like milestone cards. You have the backgrounds. We have the templates themselves. Rewards. You know we have good. I'll link this Discord. Uh, in the description below so you guys can join at any time so yeah just ask any questions we'll give you feedback on your cards but yeah let's get into how to make these cards in the first place. so let's see today we're going to be making an Alex Rodriguez um, an Alex Rodriguez 50 home run club so of course he got 50 home runs in the 2007 season and a website that i like to use is giddy images they have like hundreds of images on every single player from every year and it's just a good way to down to download high quality images in the best of quality but yeah sometimes you don't find the right image immediately and you have to like look for a while and it can get annoying but it's cool to see all the angles of the different players the farther you look this could be a good one i might use it but i'm not sure if i like the angle that he's at we'll keep it in mind though this is also a pretty good image we can see that both of his feet on the ground when you're making a milestone you want a full body picture of the full person you don't want like the arm to be cut off you know like you want like the whole thing padding stance pictures aren't bad and you can get away with using them on milestone and awards cards but for some of these like more detailed milestones you probably want to go with, uh, with probably a more like swing, like mid swing picture for these milestones, especially since it's a home run club milestone. Oh, this one is very interesting. I might just use this one. In fact, I think I might, but I'm going to keep looking. Okay, I think we found a picture. This one's this one's even better. It's just like this one, but in a better position. So we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this image because as you see, it has this annoying watermark. So we can go to this website. I'll try to link it in the description if I don't then it's called GI saver get image saver it's an HD gets you the highest quality that you possibly can just load the link in there there's your image you can download image and then load it into Photoshop or like we said in my last in my last uh, tutorial you can go to photop.com and this is basically a broke man's photoshop literally but yeah you could just in here you could just go it's just the same you could just go downloads or wherever you want your image to go uh, get your image and then boom it's right here they could just follow along in here it's basically photoshop it has everything you need you know but yeah, uh, I'm, I have Photoshop, 
that's probably your best option but if you don't have photoshop you can still make cards so yeah we have our image in here gonna unlock it so first we need to remove this guy from its background because you know we're gonna put it in the milestone background so what i preferably do is i go to uh, select subject and you can see it already makes a pretty good selection but there's a few parts around the bat that I do not want there's also this clear area that I want to improve so what we can do is we can go to the object selection tool right here make sure it's on the plus and then we can just like, kind of add back parts that are not selected by the AI and then we can go to this one and remove parts so we can get a better selection we'll do the same for this foot as you can see his foot's kind of in the dirt so I'll show you what us card creators usually do for that sort of thing you don't have to include the laces really if you if you can do it but it's not really a mandatory could refine the jersey just a little bit so as you can see this is obviously not the best selection but we'll refine it. So then you can click on this. This is the mask button, Rasha mask. You see it creates our mask. With all of the selected areas that we did. So first let's fix the cleat. What we can do is we can go to our brush tool. Uh, I'm gonna put this straight because it's in foot shadow settings. let's try like 60 make sure it's on black because black reveals the mask in white like look white adds black takes away so just keep that in mind when doing anything in Photoshop really so let's go to our black brush just kind of make a straight selection now we could even go right here and then hold shift while we do it there we go. When you hold shift, it makes a straight line. Right there. <clears throat> See, like that. Then we can kind of do the same thing here. Oh, what happened? Okay, go back here. Go to the straight line right there. That's pretty dang good. Okay, so go to the back of the cleat too. Refine. Oh no, that's not what I'm about to do. Look at all. That's pretty good right there. Okay, I kind of like that. We can always go back in here and then move. No, no, we're good. We got it. We got it. We got it. Um, let's see. What can we do here? We could take back parts where the where the background moves a little bit choppy. Let's see, we can get back this part of the cleat that got removed. Something like that. Oh yeah, the bat. Kind of forgot about the bat. First, we can 
get back his arm because we do not want his arm to be missing. Unless you're into that, I don't know. Something like that. Put that Barbara's jersey right here where the removal is kind of choppy. And that's pretty good. Ah, right here. It's a little piece of background right there. That's good. Now we can go to the back. Kind of fix this up. As you can see, this is. Why is it going in that direction? Okay, so what we can do. So we can just go into the polygonal lasso too, because shift is not working. You can just make a selection like that. Make sure you're in the mask, and then press backspace. What? Oh, what? Um, that was weird. That did not work for some reason. Okay, that's not working either for some reason. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the black brush and. Remove it myself. And you can see, got rid of that space. When you zoom in, it's kind of choppy, but when you zoom out, it's a little bit better. Kind of refine the edge to make it still look like a bat, like that. Something like that's pretty good. And look at that. That bat looks pretty nice. So the last thing that we can do is we can go to filter, other, minimum, and then it just, if there's like a little black or white outline around your player from like other, from like Luke's background, it just removes it. We can just check our selection, do some final. Do some final fixes of it and we are good there is our Alex Rodriguez mask so now basically it's just anything you want anything you want any milestone that the player has I chose uh, 50 home run club like I said So let's open the template again. You can get these from the server Once you join the server you can ask any question you want about cards that I did not explain here and somebody there can answer uh, This is clearly too big, but when you first load it in you want to make sure that it's below the, the description or the uh, the club text behind the description text but in front of the number the amount so let's see oh yeah Garrett Anderson we can kind of use him as a reference always use reference cards when making a card for like sizing we can place them about here, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Then we can kind of just size them up. Around here is good. Something like that. Alex Rodriguez. Of course, all the fonts and stuff like that are also in the server because you need the correct fonts to obviously type the 
So you got this in the 2007 season. You can all look this up with like Google or like sports websites. But I just, I already pre-looked at this up and I already know. So let's see, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, but what I like to do is we have the cool diamond. That's what I like to call it because it looks better than the default one. And I like to load it into the temp template. So see, this is the default one, and this is the new one. And then you can just delete those layers. That way I have the new diamond. So, let's do the image adjustments first. Oh, you can see there's still some loose background right here. That we didn't get in our background removal there we go so you can always fix stuff like that later if you didn't catch it first you just need to pay close attention so let's do the image adjustments to the card the player all i like to immediately do is go into filter camera raw filter now this is on photo p but it's not like as good as photoshop so i recommend not using it on photo p so just skip this part of the video if you're using photo p but if you're on photoshop just closely look what i do and closely see like how i get these certain tones on the player's skin if the player is a white jersey i usually like to put down the whites a lot and then put the blacks up a little bit but if it's if it's like vice versa he's a black jersey then I'll do it the other way texture and clarity is the most important part I like to put my texture usually around 20 to 30 if it's like if it can handle more than 30 then you could always put it up above 40 just a little bit above 40 and the clarity around 15 somewhere you can put the vibrance up a little bit i like to desaturate the image just a little bit maybe like negative 10 somewhere around there i usually don't do sharpen but i do use a little bit of noise reduction if the image is kind of grainy but in this case it is and look at that we got our camera raw filter just like that so you can see that the image needs to be brightened just a little bit especially his face so that you can hold all click boom the layers clip to your layer press command I and then that inverts everything in the mask what I, what I like to do is go to the brush tool, do hardness zero, and then make the brush around like 70. Put it on X because you want to reveal, and then just, and then just like, kind of lazily brush on his face, and then all around his skin. Now obviously that's too bright, so we can lower that. Something like that should be good. It's perfect actually. And thank god that this is a white jersey. I mean, a white jersey already, so you should just be able to go here in saturation, desaturate. Because you can see, I don't like these like pink tones in here. So what you should do is you could just get a hue and saturation, put the saturation down. Make your brush big, and just paint it on there. As you can see, it's getting rid of those annoying, annoying pink tones. And look at that! It looks like a ain't. It looks like a Yankee jersey. There we go. Um, we're not quite done with the image adjustments yet. I like to do a little bit of shadows and highlights every now and then. Maybe put the highlights to around 8 on here and then the shadows maybe like 
for you see it makes a very subtle difference but i think it's definitely worth adding it camera we can always go back in there i don't think we have i don't think we have to at the moment though um let's see what else could we do There is a little bit of a shadow, so if you want, you can add an exposure, a little bit of exposure again, you do command I to invert it. And make your brush smaller, because you only want it on the part that's shadowy, usually from a hat or a helmet. Now what you could do is you could do gamma correction. Then you can remove it from the part that's on the helmet. And look at that. That pretty much fixes it up. That actually works really well. Wow. But yeah, we have that exposure layer now. Now, um... You can do fish eyes later. I'll, I'll do fish eyes later. Let's add the background. Again, you can get this from the server. You can get basically everything that has to do with card art in the server. There we go. Look at that. He's in the correct background now. And, uh... Yeah, let's actually make a rod a little bit smaller. I noticed that he's a little big something like that it's very subtle but it's a pretty big difference let's add the gradient overlay again you can get this from the server it's so useful check it yeah it's the yankees one so we need the colors for these actually the color for the description is actually the lighter color on the gradient overlay so we can do that and then as you can see the leg is kind of making this hard to read so what we can do is we can take the color from the background go to drop shadow uh, make this 100 opacity normal then eye drop I drop that in of course, you use the eye drop tool right here, then just click on the background color. Uh, put that at zero, put this at 40, put this at around 20. And boom, you can read it now. So you can see what the drop shadow did. So it just added, it was added to the legs, so you can read the description. And then we can do the same drop shadow on the home run club text. Alright, so now let's go to the uh, our server's personal favorite website for the show uh, reference cards. Show zone, what I do. Go to LB The Show 22. Um, go to Series Milestone. And then Team. You can select any team that you're doing, but since we're doing uh, A Roddy's on the Yankees filters and boom uh aaron judge does not have the correct colors so we'll do whitey ford boom look at that you can just copy that you don't even have to save it go back over to your software import that baby in there we go we can size it up to like the normal card size doesn't have to be perfect i'll just i'll just like roughly do that Go to your eyedropper tool so you can get the exact color. And then just zoom in. Click somewhere around there until you get the right color. I think somewhere around there could be good. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the name right here. Boom. And the home run club text is also the same color as the name. Boom. 
now we have basically the whole setup oh one more thing one more thing um there is a drop shadow on the player settings for this normal uh it's 42 opacity it's black of course uh both the distance and the spread is zero and the size is 27. now it looks weird right here but you right click on the drop shadow and click create layer what that does is it creates its own layer you can see it's right under the 50 so you can go to the 50 and rasterize a layer type so it's its own layer and then you clip the drop shadow to the 50 and look what that does if you zoom in see that there's now a drop shadow from his body only visible on the 50 text also from the bat right here so there we go, that's pretty good. I like it so far. Now the foot shadows, as you can see, um, there's foot shadows on these cards if you zoom in right there. Hold on, let me, right there is foot, usually they're pretty light on these cards, but we like to make them um, like darker and like actual foot shadows because for some reason STS makes them like non-realistic. Oh, here we go. That's pretty dark right there see cards like cards like that milestone cards have foot shadows so we have to add them but yeah basically what i do personally you can use you can use you can like like you could go into curves then put the highlights all the way down invert it right or you can go to hue and saturation turn the lightness all the way down invert it what I like to do personally is I like to just go to exposure, turn the exposure all the way down, and invert it. But it's preference, really. It's all the same outcome. Um, I like to use around 150, and then what I do with with this is it's it's like the height of the brush. I like to go to the top point, drag it down. You don't want it completely straight like this, or it's just gonna look weird. It's gonna look like it's gonna look like that. We don't we don't want we don't want that. We don't want that. But yeah. You want it not completely flat. Maybe something like that should be good. And then what we can do is we can just go into here. We can just draw a nice little foot shadow. kind of like that and obviously we can go to filter blur gauge and blur add a little bit maybe like 1.5 so I can make the opacity around 90 see something like that is good and then I like to really get into detail with my foot shadow so I had like more than one layer for for each foot and then basically I'm just gonna add a bigger darker or not a darker shadow, but a bigger shadow. And then obviously it's gonna be less opacity, so add more gauge and blur. And I'm gonna add around seven and then make the opacity about 40. And see what that does. It's just it's just a little bit lighter around the brim of the shadow. Just house with his realisticness. And then the lead in to the to the other foot, we can go like we can have it on like a smaller brush setting first, like around 90. Just click once. Uh press your bracket keys. Your bracket keys to make the brush smaller or bigger. Your right one makes it bigger, left one makes it smaller. So we start 90, press it. Hit our bracket key, press it, hit our bracket key, press it, hit our bracket key, press it. Keep going. Repeat, repeat. And then we're there. Obviously, that looks way too dark and way too, like, unorthodox. So, we had gauge and blur. This one's the biggest shadow of all, usually. So, I'll add, like, 14. And then make it, like, really subtle. Like that. Can even make it more subtle. Like 
16. Really subtle, but really nice. It's just a nice lead in I got for his body shadow, you know. Uh, now for the is this the right foot or the left? Foot? I don't know. For the other foot, um, the back foot. Let's just call it the back foot. Obviously, that's too big, so you can make your brush smaller. Something right here. Foot shadows are usually different on all cars. All right, here you can go like. Something like that's pretty guy. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice right there. Uh, you can add a little bit of Gaussian blur, but since it's directly under his foot, you don't want that much. So let's just add one exactly. Yeah, one exactly. Then we can make this around 95. We want it to be pretty dark since it's directly under his foot. He's literally standing on it. And then what we can do is we can do the same thing that we did before. With the other foot, we can make it a little bit bigger. Like that. Go to blur, gosh, and blur. About 6.5. I'm going to put it at 45. Oh, I don't know what I just did. I'm not going to print. Uh... That's pretty cool right there. You know what this I want this to be even more subtle. So I'm gonna put this at 13. Even more so. And it makes this one stand out even more. And then of course we need a shadow here kind of lead it out. So, we can go about, we can make our brush smaller again, bring it to about 90, click, click the bracket, click, click the bracket, click, bracket, bracket, perfect, perfect, so, and we don't want it on our logo, of course, so, put the harness up, bring the brush to about 10 if this ever happens. There we go. Now we go filter, blur, dodge and blur again. Uh, actually looks nice where it is. But we can have it at about 30. And look at that. Look at those foot shadows. Very nice. And just like that, your card is pretty much done. You have created a milestone card. Good job. So, yeah. Um, this is the milestone tutorial. I'm going to do one series that I haven't done before, and that's going to be Signature Series. So let's hop into that one.